If you want to stop MCB remotely, when you stop push button press, your MCB should stop so you can connect. When you press the stop push button, your MCB will stop. Also, you can connect it to indicator. One is the start indicator and one is the stop indicator. Okay. When your MCB will start, start indicator will blink. You can see here. Also, when your MCB will trip, so your trip indicator will blink. So you can connect a stop push button as well as a start and trip indicator with MCB with the help of the shunt release coil. This shunt release coil is made by CNC Electric. So let's start video and understand how to connect this shunt release coil with MCB. In general, if you want to start MCB, so you need to start MCB manually and if you want to stop MCB, so you need to stop MCB manually. But when you connect this shunt release coil, so you can stop MCB by connecting push button. Okay, when you connect this shunt release coil and press stop push button, so your MCB trip are stop by push button and also you can connect a start and trip indicator. Okay, when your MCB will start, so start indicator blink and when MCB trip, so trip indicator will blink. You can connect this shunt release coil with single pole MCB double pole lcb as well as triple pole mcb so you can connect all type of mcb now learn about shunt release coil so in shunt release coil we have two point c1 and c2 so c1 and c2 point is coil point okay when phase and neutral connect in c1 and c2 terminal so your mcb will stop okay when phase and neutral connect in c1 and c2 so your mcb will stop also we have control points so 11 number point is common point, 14 number point for on indicator and 12 number point for stop indicator or trip indicator. Okay, you can see here 11 number point is here and 14 number point for start indicator and 12 number point for stop indicator. Okay, now learn about mechanism, how shunter release coil could connect with MCB. So mechanism is very simple. Okay, this point connects here. Also, we have two locks. Okay. So you can connect this shunt release coil very easily. Okay. This plunger first connect start stop button. Okay. Mechanism is very simple. Okay. So you can connect easily this shunt release coil with MCB. Okay. Now shunt release coil is connected with the MCB. Now when you start MCB, so shunt release coil will also start. And when stop MCB, so shunt release coil will stop MCB. Okay. Now let's learn about connection. So connect input power supply phase and neutral in MCB input terminal. Okay, so connect to phase and neutral input power supply. For load, we connect to one cooling fan. So we connect a cooling fan wire in MCB output terminal. Okay, so load connection is now done. Now let's learn a control wiring. Okay, so as we know, when phase and neutral connect in C1 and C2 terminal, so your MCB will stop. So for the stopping MCB, we connect one stop push button. So let's learn a control wiring. We connect a neutral directly in C2 terminal. You can see here. And for a stopping push button, we connect one stop push button. In this stop push button, we connect a no element. Okay. So we connect a phase wire here in MCB output terminal and connect C1 terminal. Okay. When this stop push button press, so phase comes in C1 coil, then our MCB will trip. Okay. Now learn about indicator connection. So in indicator connection, we connect to indicator. So we connect a neutral directly first in a start indicator, then trip indicator. So we connect a neutral directly. So first we connect a neutral in MCB neutral terminal. Okay. We connect a neutral in input side. You can also connect a neutral in output side. No problem is here. So neutral connects directly. Now let's learn about phase control wiring. So for phase control wiring, first we need to connect one connector in MCB and connect a common terminal which is 11 number. Okay. So first we connect one connector here. Okay. For phase control wiring. So we connect one connector here. First learn start indicator when MCB start. So your start indicator should blink. So we connect a 14 number terminal. Okay. And for stop indicator, we connect 12 number points. Okay. As we discussed previously. So for the stop indicator, we connect to phase wire in 12 number point. Now connection is done. You can see here MCB is a stop. So a stop indicator is blinking. Okay. When you start MCB, so load start also the start indicator blink. So we can understand MCB is started. When we press the stop push button, MCB will stop. Also you can see here the stop indicator blinking. Again MCB start. 
so start indicator blinking okay when press the stop push button so your mcb will stop okay so by connecting this shunt release coil you can stop your mcb by connecting push button also you can connect start and trip indicator okay hope you learn all about this shunt release coil okay if you like this video please press like button if you have any doubt please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching